So when I left Siemens CDA, I saw there was an explosion in compute. Smart everywhere, AI everywhere, and the design costs are rising up. Moore's law is slowing down. There's a shortage of talent everywhere, right, in terms of it, to meet the demand. And yet, there has been no innovation or any major changes on how hardware designs has been done for the last 30 plus years. So after the extensive research, I thought, what if, if we can raise the level of abstraction beyond RTL and do it at adoption at scale? and to a broader industry. And if we can do that, we can change how designs will be done for next several decades to come. And my vision became very clear at that point in time that we want adoption at scale and also innovation at scale, right, combined. So that became my mission. When we started, there was a big if, right? Can it be done or not and to do that, right? But today, I feel very confident that we absolutely we can achieve the objective that we set it out. So the journey has started and I'm so excited to start the journey from now and take it to the customers. Right? So if you look at the challenges of high-level design, and there are three major challenges that you have. The first one is the language barrier. The second one has been the quality of results and the predictability of it. And the third has been the verification confidence. Can I trust it or not? Right? Yeah. So, so if you can solve those challenges, we can do it at adoption at scale. Right? So if you look at on the first one, the language barrier, right? What is RISE doing about it, right? So if you look at it before, you know, is that there are two class of users. One is the RTL verifi design verification who uses system very lot, And the others are architects who uses C++ and system C to describe the architecture at that level, right? So today, we are announcing industry first multi-language, multi-abstraction, which supports System Verilla, C++, and System C, high-level synthesis, verification, debug, and analysis suite of tools. We are lowering the barrier of adoption of high-level designs for RTL engineers to do that. They can keep what they are doing, they can build on top of it. They don't have to give up anything to do that, right? And the second advantage of System Barrel Log is that you can support broad design styles. It can be 100% data part, it can be 80% data part, 20% control, and it can be some timing specific you want. And System Barrel Log is a natural language for designers to express their intent. So we have designs which are running in all the languages, C++, System Barrel Log, or in System C all the open source. So we have a very good confidence that all, when we support all these multi-languages, do we support all the features along with that also. So one thing, if you have already developed IPs in C++ or System C, you can bring it without any modification into our environment and you can synthesize, no problem to do that, right? If you are using all the data types that are very familiar with that, we support all the data type AC, as you mentioned, AC data type, AC mat, all of them are supported in System Verilog also, right? So they can develop a new IP in System Verilog, or if you have an existing, you can mix and match in our environment to do that. So you don't lose anything and you have all the facility for all the data types in system world also. And the second part of it is the quality of results, right? Yeah. You know? And the predictability of the results to do that. And what the challenge is right now, you need an expert. So what RISE is doing is that we have a four-step approach addressing the quality of results, right? The first one is that we have called RISE.AI Advisor. It's an industry first generative AI based on the high level languages. It understands and it's very tightly integrated with our tools change. And so what does it help is that it allows designers to create designs much faster. It can create a design IP, foundational IP for you automatically. It can also create test benches, UVM test benches for you to do that. It, if you have an existing code, it will guide you on how to achieve the quality of results. So what that it allows is that you always have an expert with you all the time. And you don't have to be an expert in high level designs to do that. So that's the first part. And this, once you created the design, the second is the tool itself, right? You know? So RISE has a unique architecture to do two levels of optimization. What one we call is a high level optimization done at the user source level. So you don't lose the intent, right? And that is technology independent. We look at the control and data flow graphs and the timing and we do our scheduling in that. Once that is done, then we go to the structural optimization. That's where the technology mapping happens and the pipelining and everything happens to do that, right? So with this combination of approach, you get a better predictability of quality of results, but more important is the performance. 
And uh, what we have seen, it's an order of magnitudes faster than the current solution now. So that's one. And the third step is the design space explore. Since our run times are very, very fast, you can explore all possible, let the tool explore all possible exploration of the design and to do that and produce the results what is best for the user to pick. So you don't lose any quality of results on the table, right? You know, you may have lost that, but let the tool find the best solution that you want to do that. And the fourth, after you've done it, we also have a debug and analysis. If something went wrong, you can't meet your timing that you want to do that or you want to further optimize. We have all kinds of views to help user understand how the transformation worked from high level to RTL. They understand how the RTL is generated and also gives you all the quality of results view so they can improve the code by themselves. And all of them, they point back to the actual, actual you know, high level source code. So they understand where the area of bottleneck may be. So with all these four approach, you can get the much, much predictable quality of results, right? So after the quality of results, the next big challenge is the verification confidence, right? As you know, the, the benefit of moving to much level of high-level high level abstraction is the verification speed, right? The speeds are almost about 100 to 1000 X speed and much, much productivity of the verification productivity when you move to the high level of abstraction to do that. So with our environment, it's you're using the system where a lot trusted environment that customers are already familiar with it. And you can use the existing environment and build on top of it, right? And in addition to that, Rise has provided all the tools, utilities, libraries, methodologies to do that so people can verify your design at a high level of, high level of abstraction much easier and find the bugs much quicker. And, and then in terms of verification confidence, what we also have is a true mixed mode environment, right? We have a multi-language, multi-mode, user can swap out at RTL or with the NHLB model, you can swap out the C++ model with the RTL. So we have a complete true mix and match where you can get the confidence of the design that has been generated to do that. So in summary, the RISE is the only one who's addressing all these challenges, the language barrier, the quality of results, and the verification confidence. So as we talk about the challenges, right? of the high level of designs, we have to start it from the brand new architecture, right? from the ground up right now. What, what RISE has created, which is very unique to RISE, it's very modular, very modern, very scalable, and it's an open architecture, and it's an open API to do that right now. So what it allows us that it addresses all the challenges like multi-languages we talked about, the QFR, the verification and debug, they are all first class citizens in this new architectures that we have to do that, right? So in order to build this architecture, we had to pick up a very strong foundation. So we have very strong foundation, which is built on it. So we use Clang, C++, C++ you know, which is latest and greatest we have. We also use Verific for system barrel of parser to do that. We have the Microsoft Visual Studio for that design creation for our AI. And also we use it for debug also to do that. And we also use Google XLS foundation, which is there for IR representation and for structural optimization to do that. We use Kodi for our user interface. We use multi-language models, large language models for our uh, for our high-level design. So what we are seeing is not only Rise is innovating, but also we are innovating with the industry on all these packages because they are also innovating, right? Yeah, all the changes to do that. So in combination of those two, we are doing adoption innovation at scale. So not so. What we have seen is that ourselves also with this architecture in place, we are able to innovate much much faster. So I think the first is that we want to bridge the gap between system and solution. And so, if you can describe your system in, in one of these high-level languages, you gain the performance, you can do the modeling of your system-level performance in all of these languages. And with the push of a button, with RISE toolchain and with the RISE.ai, we can go and explore and do a footprint what it looks like in silicon, right? The second thing as part of our innovation scale initiative, we also want to connect with academia and research. Right? So what we have with our open architecture and our open interfaces, we would like to plug their optimization directly into the IR intermediate representation. So you don't lose any translation, you don't lose the intent. But the benefit is that you get the whole RISE environment benefit, right? You get all the verification, you can do mix and match. They can see their work going into the silicon to do that. Right? And the last part, which is the most exciting, which is, we, you know, it's, it's moving so fast, is the is the AI, generative AI for high-level design. Right? And what we have seen is an incredible results that once you do large language models for the high abstraction, like C++ and Python, they do a very good job on generative AI on those languages to do that. So what we have done is use this language model, and we have invested in our technology and infrastructure, and we have built an expert knowledge for high-level design on this large language model. 
But what is more exciting is that I think we are not that far away. That user can type in that I want a deep learning accelerator with these parameters and Generative AI should be able to generate that. And we are excited because we see a lot of good results in that. Right? And I think as you, you have seen also that industry needs 1000x, right? by end of this decade, right? So combination of all of them, I believe that we can truly accelerate the 1000x much, much earlier than the end of the decade.